Hey everybody, Chris Smartage here, Brotherhood of Light Show Current YouTube channel. And as promised, we're going to get this show on the road. And it's going to be the Almond Family Revival mini tour from 2022. So let me get the screen share going and we'll get the slideshow rolling here. Here we go. So it's going to share, share. Okay. And here we go. Laser pointer. Laser pointer. Where are you, buddy? Laser pointer. You got it? Okay, there's a laser pointer. Okay, here we go. So the first shot is this uh, Chris Samardage concert experience series, episode six to 2022, Almond Family Revival Tour. And so here's the dates. We're going to go to the next slide and hit the dates. Okay, so we've started in. Uh, on February 17th in Phoenix, Arizona at the Federal Theater. And then we went on to the San Francisco, my home venue, the Fillmore Auditorium, the original old Fillmore on Fillmore Street. Then we went to the Wiltern Theater in Los Angeles, which was absolutely fantastic. The crew was great there, just amazing how they were so on it. And then we went to uh, Las Vegas to the new Virgin Theater, which used to be the old Hard Rock. And uh, it's a new theater that's been rebuilt, holds a couple, a couple thousand people at least. And then uh, uh, we moved on and we did a corporate in Redwood City for a birthday party for a bunch of guys down there in uh, the Fox Theater in Redwood City. So let's get on with this show here. So here we go. So I'm gonna pretty much focus on uh, the Almond Family Revival the Fillmore and the Wiltern show. I have a lot of pictures of both those. Uh, so that's going to be the two shows that we focus on. And then that's, uh, that's Dwayne Betts there and Luther. So we're going to move on to the next shot. We've got, uh, okay, so this is uh, the one in Arizona at the Federal Theater. That's my rig set up. I'm up in the lighting booth way up in the middle of a balcony. And I actually used their projector. They were really nice because my projector got damaged. And as you can see on this right shot here, uh, that's a uh, laser pointer's not working. Let's get this thing working. There we go. So the laser pointer right there is on that shot of uh, Dwayne Allman, and it's a tribute they're doing No One Left to Run With. And then, uh, so this is the setup there. We're going to move the next shot. I didn't shoot a lot at this venue, but okay, this this purple one up here is Dreams. And this is Johnny, um, actually, Johnny's doing a solo there. And then we did Statesboro Blues with Mark Ford. And I did this motif with the Statesboro Water Tower and the old Almond Brothers on the railroad track. And then here's Greg. And then these, these uh, revival shows are a tribute to Greg Allman uh, passing away in, uh, few years back we started doing them in 2017 and we've been doing them for five years uh, we got we missed one because of covid uh, but uh, we've been doing them consistently and hopefully we're going to do another one next year uh, in the fall around uh, greg's birthday and december 8th is when we try to focus the shows for all right so we moved on from there to the fillmore auditorium in san francisco and here's the uh Upstairs, there's just like a dining room upstairs. It's completely littered with Fillmore posters for all you that haven't ever been to the Fillmore and seen it. And if you look in these, this back row here is all Brotherhood of Light stuff and Little Princess 109 and Holy See. These were during my company's era when they did it. These earlier ones, there's not too many light shows. These are the earlier ones. But a lot of Fillmore West stuff in here. And then this is a tribute in the staircase of Jerry Garcia, who played there quite a bit. And Actually played the Warfield Theater a lot too. So that's just part of the history. So now we're going to get to uh, there. Okay, so this is the actual posters in the poster room. A lot of these are Brotherhood of Light, my company, and uh, like this, you know, Taj Mahal, Led Zeppelin, uh, Country Joe, or this Grateful Dead, the actual Live Dead record, uh, which is one of my favorite albums. Uh, the country John the Fisher I went to. So anyway, this is the auditorium. I'm projecting from up in here, up above here on the right of this crow's nest where the spotlights are. And uh, I'm projecting uh, 
a 120 foot throw with a laser projector that was rent, I rented and long throw lens. And as you can see, it's not really the tallest stage in the world, but it does work. And uh, so that's the Fillmore as of uh, the 20th of uh, February. So our opening act uh, is uh, on Devon's label. It's uh, the River Kittens and there's their record. And they opened up, they did about a 25 minute set and uh, they're a duo and they play mandolin and guitar and sing acapella also. And uh, they were just really, they're really great. We've been touring with us all year. So that was fantastic. So now we're gonna get to the Family Revival show. Here's the set list, San Francisco Fillmore 2022. And uh, you the first four songs are basically Almond Betts band. And then we get Luther Dickerson in on Up and Roll, which is the song I'm gonna show the Mushroom Light Show because it's about mushroom tea, Dreams he plays on, and then Blue Sky. He did a solo on Blue Sky also. Um, and then we've got uh, Stage Pearl with uh, Mark Ford and uh, Jimmy Hall, the smiling. And then we go to the second set where we've got Robert Randolph and they do the march. And then we've got uh, uh, Jessica, uh, and then we do one way out with Mark Ford and and Robert Randolph, and then um, we do Pale Horse Rider with Greg Allman's son, and we end up all hands on deck on Midnight Rider. So here we go. So okay, so here we are. This is uh, Mahogany Road, and uh, there's Dwayne playing. Now we're going to get to uh, the two guys that run the Almond Betts band, uh, Devin Allman on the left and Dwayne Allman on, I mean, not Dwayne Allman, Dwayne Betts on the right, the sons of the Allman brothers who I've toured with for years. And I've done, been out with these guys for like five years. It's been great. I love these, you know, they're the brothers to me or, you know, like younger brothers. So now we're going to go to the photographer, uh, Chris Brush on the left there. He is a staff photographer. He does merch. He does management, assistant manager of the band. And uh, there's Jimmy Hall on the right playing at Fillmore. And Chris took all these uh, close-up pictures. He has a unique style of taking pictures from stage only. Um, and so the other pictures, the long shots, I'm getting from like 120 feet away from with an iPhone where I'm mixing because I'm really stuck there. Um, so it's kind of the combination of the two of us make for a really kind of a cool show. So here we go. We're going to move on to the next shot. So there's Devin right there. There's my light show. There's Dwayne kind of under his arm. And then there's Johnny Statula on slide guitar right there. And he's been in the band the whole time. So let's move to the next one. Okay. Now we got John Ginty on keyboard, who's really fantastic. And of course, Devin Allman, playing his Les Paul Jr. on the right there. And uh, so, you know, these are Chris Brushy shots are really cool. Um, you know, close ups from the stage angles. And now the next one is this mushroom shot it was kind of like my classic shot I got uh, from back. Now I'm way in the back, but I'm zoomed in with an iPhone and I got this beautiful shot and it just seems to capture the whole psychedelic image and the way the lighting hits everything. I really like this shot. It's just been really popular on the internet. People really like it. Let's go to some more band members here. So uh, we got Justin Corrigan on bass because uh, Barry Oakley got uh, COVID and decided not to go on the tour. And we got John Lum on the drum. He's been the backbeat for this band the whole time. And then over here, we got Robert Randolph right here playing uh, his slide guitar or whatever you want to call it, pedal steel guitar. And uh, he's doing the march, which is kind of just this crazy haywire song. Okay, so these are uh, four shots of the light show. And the uh, top left is Dreams right here. And then we have uh, One Way Out, which is kind of like in the tunnel, the one way out down the tunnel. And we have that famous mushroom shot, the Luther song. And then we have... Um, Savannah Dream, which was a green and red theme. It's kind of like a swampy kind of Southern feel. It's an instrumental, very reminiscent of some of uh, Dickie Betts stuff. 
Um, okay, so let's get to some other members here. So we got John Ginty right there, and uh, we got Mark Ford on the right. I just like the the uh, absent of the lighting, just kind of silhouettes look great. Sometimes you can really get good shots with minimal lighting. Let's move on to my light show, Psychedelic Liquid Colors from the original Brotherhood of Light Plates. And uh, this is just a bunch of different people jamming in shots on stage. Just did like a collage of uh, the band. And uh, this guy on the left, I never even got his name, but he's from Tesla, band Tesla. And he came in, he just smoked on his solo. I think he did it during One Way Out. <laughs> and then here's Dwayne playing for the, on the march. And then there's the guy from Tesla. I think this is one of Chris Brush's great shots of the guy. It just seems to capture the light show and the guy wailing low down on the neck and just some exploding stuff. And then I superimposed it on some screenshots that I took earlier in the, in the warmups. So it's pretty cool. I just think it's a good piece. And now next, the tribute to Greg Allman. And so we... Uh, during no one left to run with we put pictures of greg and Dwayne up there who are both deceased and we use them as you know just to remind everybody that you know our fallen fathers here that you know created the brothers to start with and uh, it's a tribute so i i know that Devin wants to do more of these uh family revivals around greg's birthday so Hopefully we can do some more and let's go to the last shot here. And uh, this now, now this kid on the left is Orion Gregory Allman. He is Greg Allman's grandson and he is playing on Pale Horse Rider. And uh, the other shot to the right here is uh, Jimmy doing Smile and uh, Jimmy Hall, who's from Wet Willie. And then it's all hands on deck and we're doing uh, Midnight Rider. And that's these top kind of purple blue shots with the mirror ball going. And that's kind of our parting shot for the Fillmore. And now we're going to move on to the Wiltern Theater in LA, which was our next date. So let's go there. Here we go. So, um, unfortunately, we uh, had some health issues on our tour. And this guy over here, our Scott, is a uh, our percussion and backup vocalist, and he's been on the tour for five years. He's just like a, a trooper, and uh, he's been he plays a second set of drums up there. And he had a some kind of really bad back injury on the load in in Arizona, but he actually went to the Fillmore and played. And he this is his last show, so I'm doing kind of a tribute to him at the Wheel Turn because he played his last show and then. You know, I guess he went and had an MRI and he was advised to go home. And I'm hoping the best for him. I'm hoping they don't have to operate or anything, but it, was, it sounded pretty serious. So, you know, get well, buddy. Okay, so here's uh, Art Edmonton on saxophone. We got Jimmy Hall. Uh, we got Justin Corrigan on bass and Robert Randolph on the pedal steel guitar. So these are all more or less guests except for the bass players filling in. Okay, now this is Dreams, one of my opening shots of Dreams. I think it looks really psychedelic and cool. Uh, shot from, once again, 120 feet back with an iPhone, but still pretty cool. So there's the light show, and let's move on to the next shot. Here is Savannah Dream, which is the green theme. And uh, this was the original Liquid Light, which I've digitized and created synced to the songs i think this shot looks really cool then we've got one way out which is more of a black and white sort of theme and uh we got mark ford up there and uh jimmy hall jimmy hall's son on piano and uh johnny's doing a slide solo right there on stage right and now we're gonna go we got the backup singers so uh they came up and sang and jimmy hall is doing his song Smile. And uh, we got Orby Orbison on the Congos there, but he ended up playing drums a lot on the rest of the tour because our Scott had to go home. So um, there we go, the, the River Kittens. And okay, now there's, uh, there's Devin and Dwayne and Mark Ford 
and Kenny Arnoff. So uh, the, he, Kenny Arnoff and Mark Ford are both guests. So, and then, uh, so this is one of my favorite shots here. And uh, Devin put his guitar down and he did Please Call Home. And uh, both these shots are during that song and uh, he just nails it. It's one of Greg's most beautiful ballads. And uh, I, I think it just looks really great. You know, it just got a really nice mood and good feeling to it. So uh, it was great to see him play that Greg Allman song. All right, here we go again. We've got Robert Randolph, and uh, we're doing the march, and uh, he's, it's just a crazy kind of two-chord thing that just goes wild with all kinds of lead solos. So that's kind of the look. And then we go back to the One Way Out, and uh, Jimmy Hall's playing harmonica, and there's Devin and Dwayne, the whole band's up there jamming out in the Wiltern Theater. And uh, I think it's just, you know, it kind of went for the black and white theme again. And now we got, uh, so this this bass player is Tala, or T-A-L, that's how you spell her name. And she sat in, she's from Jeff Beck and some other jazz bands, and she played uh, Jessica with uh, Dwayne and Johnny. And then we got Robert Randolph over there, and of course, just the beautiful green liquids. So uh, I thought I'd throw that in there. That's also at the wheel turn. And then... Uh, there's Chris Brush and the roadie down below. And uh, I was just doing some uh, some crazy light show stuff, warming up for the show. And I thought I'd throw that shot in there. And the last shot, and it's The Road Goes On Forever, which is a lyric out of Midnight Rider. And uh, Midnight Rider is the song they're playing. And it's all hands on deck. Everybody's up there. And uh, I cut off Rand Randolph, but the whole band's up there doing it and that's our last song of the evening and that's pretty much we also did the vegas show which is quite similar i don't have any shots of that because i was on stage mixing i don't think brushy really i don't know he didn't shoot or give me any shots so anyway i think two concerts are enough to cover it so then from uh from vegas we moved on to san francisco and we went to uh the peninsula where i grew up and we play in Redwood City at the Fox Theater. And uh, these guys brought a video wall. And that's Devin playing One Way Out there on a video wall and mixing a video mix with a psychedelic light show. And then uh, there I am as a self-portrait of me in the Bay Area where I grew up. And uh, so here's Dwayne uh, playing Dreams, uh, lead solo in Dreams. And there's Devin playing Blue Sky on the right there. And you can see how amazing the screen is. And now here's the drummers, John Lum on the left, Orby Orbison in the middle. And then we've got uh, them over in the top right here. You can see Orb and you can see John. And then, uh, of course, the band's playing below. And it just, the screen is just such HD high res. It's just amazing. And then one more parting shot here of uh, Dwayne doing a lead solo with the camera work mixed in with my light show, a multi-layer thing. And then John Ginty's giving us a final gesture for this portion of the tour on the right there. And uh, they, I go back to Hawaii and they shoot off to Florida to do a afternoon evening festival show in the light. Uh, so there's no light show necessary. And we're going to hit that one. And uh, so there's Devin and Dwayne ready to hit the stage in Florida. And then there's the final of them taking a final bow. And there's Nate Gilbert, our sound man, uh, who's mixing the band and having a good old time. And uh, so I just want to say farewell to the Alman Betts band until next year. Hopefully we're going to go out and we're going to do uh, – some more family revivals. I'm looking forward to those with my light show. And uh, so I'm going to stop screen share. I'm going to go back to me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I tried to put together a little show for you uh, at the end of my so far career, 35 years working with bands doing light shows. And uh, you never know what the road goes on forever, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so next week, I'm going to do a another psychedelic band series show. I think it's my fifth one, and it's going to be on the acid rock band 
blue cheer. So look forward to that one, folks. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that one. And uh, they're kind of the godfathers of hard rock or heavy metal or whatever. Uh, definitely acid rock. So I'm going to sign off and see you guys later. Give me you know, some views, some likes and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next show. Thanks. <laughs>